Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing the try a chapter book tag. A really popular tag. Wasn't sure if I wanted to do this but I've been doing this for so long like before I knew it was a tag I would read like a few pages or like a chapter of a few books to decide what to read next like that's how I always kind of decided so like this is not new for me but I thought this time I would film it. This is going to be arc edition just because I want to get to an arc this month. I need to get to more than one arc this month but I for sure want to get to one so I have five arcs here that I'm just going to be reading the first chapter of, a few pages of, something like that just to decide what to read next and let you guys know my first impressions of them. So first up here we have We Set the Dark on Fire by Taylor K. Majai. That's probably wrong. I heard this is feminist and that's all I know about it. I don't remember exactly what it's about, but I just remember it was really interesting and intriguing and that's why I requested it. Um, I got it from HTC Frenzy, so thank you to them. This came out in February, so yikes. This is one that comes out this month in March. This is called Heroine by Minnie McGinnis. I love Minnie McGinnis's book, The Female of the Species, so I'm really excited to try this one out and I believe it's just about heroin addiction and a car crash of sorts so and we have this one which is um with the fire on high by elizabeth acevedo i'm so excited for this one i loved her book the poet x i didn't love it but like i thoroughly enjoyed it i gave it like a four out of four star rating i believe um but i'm really excited to read this one this one's about like a cook and it's supposed to be really good this one comes out in may so this one comes out a bit later so i do have more time for this one but i just really want to read it <laughs> Doomsday by Katie Henry. I don't know much about this one except that it just has like that doomsday like concept or something like the world going to end. Um, there's like someone has anxiety in this book, stuff like that. Um, it's the same author who wrote Heretics Anonymous, which I loved. It was one of my, my favorite books of last year. So, so excited for this. This one comes out in August. Damn. So that's also, these are all from Frenzy, I think. <laughs> Then I also have Fame, Fate, and the First Kiss by Casey West. This is just another new Casey West book that just talks about, like, I think actresses, um, basically what the title says. Um, it comes, it came out in February, so we're gonna read a chapter of this or a few pages. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, depending on how long the chapters are. I also kind of just need to decide what arc I'm gonna bring for my trip, so I don't really have time <laughs> to, like, read, like, 50 pages of each right now so we'll read some and then I'm gonna let you guys know my first impressions. So for the book we set the dark on fire I read the little prologue thing as well as a maybe five or six pages of the first chapter um, but I did read the prologue thing so I just wanted to talk about it plus I know just by the way that it's like going right now that it's just not something I'm in the mood for at the moment. So basically this is about a school the Mado school for girls is basically this is an all-girls school and it's about we follow this one character like the prologue just basically is not even a prologue it just kind of talks about something that's written in one of the the textbooks i believe of the thing so it's yeah it's in the handbook it's like the introduction of the handbook that we get and it's about these gods the god of salt and the god of sun and then we like learn about the like the god of the moon and then um, this daughter of a king and like all this kind of story um, and then it's obviously like I believe one of the characters in the book is the top student but she but her pedigree is a lie something about her marriage while dating gave up everything in pursuit of a free medio and a chance at forbidden love the first book in a sizzling fantasy duology is perfect for fans of The Handmaid's Tale. So that is something I'm just not in the mood for right now. Fantasy is not what I'm in the mood for, but it does sound really cool. And like, if you've read this, let me know your thoughts on it down below. Um, I'm interested to see what like people thought of it. I haven't really looked into too many reviews yet. So now we're gonna read a little bit of With the Fire on High. I just read a bit of With the Fire on High. Um, this one is pretty good so far. Basically, I one really like how it's just formatted like it's so nice and it has like all the fruits and the vanilla and like the mint and like part one is called the sour just like I love that and it starts off with like a little like recipe which is really cool and then it starts off the first chapter um about a baby who like in this chapter like day one she doesn't have a name yet so they just call her baby girl 
already mentioned things like Moana, Netflix, things like that. Um, and we're probably just going to follow like the child as she's growing up, I assume is what's going to happen or it's going to be about like the mom. I'm not really sure. And the back says, like, I saw you doing that thing, what thing, the mantra thing you do when you want something, but convince yourself you can't have it because of your child. Is she right? Is that what I'm doing? Sometimes your girl reads you better than anyone else. She points her spork at me. You're stronger than anyone I know in senior year. I believe, like, by the sound of that, I believe the mom is, like, um, a teenager in high school, I think. I'm really confused. <laughs> Um, but I, just by the way it's formatted, by the way it's written, I think it's definitely one that I'm kind of like in the mood for right now. So this is probably going to be, um, one of the ones I'll have to choose from for sure. Like one of the top priorities of mine, but really interesting so far. I read two pages and have decided that this is what I'm probably going to end up reading unless anything else changes my mind. And that is just due to the fact that one, I love these dark kinds of books. Two, um, it's like, it's about an addict, which I find really interesting to read about. And three, the first line of the prologue is, when I wake up, all my friends are dead. And it talks about, like, I'll just read you the little first little bit and tell me it doesn't make you want to read this right now. So, when I wake up, all my friends are dead. I don't know why they stopped breathing or how long I slept while they dropped off one by one. Josie's basement is a windowless place where time does not matter. The lights set low. She sprawls across a couch, lips gone gray underneath the plumping lip gloss she used to cover the fact that she started shredding them with her teeth, devouring herself with need when there's no needle in reach. I try to get up, my hip refusing to carry me. In the, in the pivotal moment when I rise, I bump into the coffee table, setting a syringe, rolling onto the floor. Shit. So I must know what happened. <laughs> So this is definitely something I'm going to probably end up reading. I will read a few pages of this and the other one just because I have to, but like, I think I'm gonna end up reading um, Heroin and taking that one on my trip, but we'll read a bit of Fame, Fate, and the First Kiss. So I ended up reading a little bit of both of these and just decided that I'm just not in the mood for them right now. So out of the five, we have concluded that this one, Fantasy, I'm not in the mood for. With the fire on the high was probably gonna be the one I picked but then I read some of heroin which made me not want to look at the other ones because of how much I liked the beginning of heroin so I am not in the mood for let's call a doomsday or fame fate in the first kiss because fame fate in the first kiss has like a script at the beginning and it's a lot like it's kind of like one of those like I think it's gonna be one of those like light fluffy things like I just don't want to read that and then let's call it doomsday talks about like a scenario of the world ending and I'm like okay but the, this one like the, this one sounds good so like I'm gonna get to all of these eventually to be honest but like and like some of them I am, am still excited to read like these two specifically, I'm still super excited to read. I still want to read Fave Fate and the First Kiss and We Set the Dark on Fire, but like these two, I'm like, yes. So I guess my pick is going to be Heroin by Mindy McGuinness. I'm going to bring this one on my trip with me. And yeah, so I'll let you guys know in like my next kind of like wrap up what my thoughts are on it. I hope at least you learned a little bit more about what the other arcs are about or at least learned or saw some titles or something that catched your eye that you'd be interested in. Um, again, We Set the Dark on Fire came out in February with the Fire on High releases in, in May. Um, let's call it Doomsday releases in August and Fame, Fate and the First Kissed released um, in February. And Heroin by Minnie McGinnis releases this month in March. So that's kind of perfect. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll definitely let you know my thoughts on the book when I finish it and I will have like a wrap up up not soonish, but probably at the end of March, just talking about the books that I read in February and March, just because I don't have enough, like I read like one book in February, so I don't have enough to talk about to make a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and maybe like which one you would choose or if like you had all these arcs, which one you would read first, if you're excited for any of these other releases, stuff like that. Um, I've never filmed like the try the chapter thing before, but like it was kind of fun. I usually do it by myself anyway, so like filming it was kind of fun, but yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment down below as well as subscribe if you're not already. And thank you so, so much for watching and have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon.